it is the how we do this, not as much as the what we do. And I think, you know, a couple of people mentioned uh, what Scott Moe was doing on fertilizer. This is exactly how I would approach this. I worked for Premier Wall in Saskatchewan when he just said no to the federal government, a conservative federal government, uh, when BHP was looking to take over Potash Corp. Why? Because the resource belonged to the people of the province. When we are talking about fertilizer caps, emissions caps, those resources belong to the people of Alberta, all of you in this room, that matters. So yeah, we stand up and say no, we agree on, on where we're headed. It, the question for me is how? And I mean, two people on this stage just, just raised the fact that Scott Moe is doing an effective job, not through an act or a one silver bullet piece of legislation that's gonna fix those problems, but by just saying no. And then leading the charge, leading the campaign across the country. Let's join with other like-minded provinces. And so I think there's a couple of things. One is, yes, we need to say no. We need to fight, especially when the federal government is looking to infringe on areas of our provincial jurisdiction. That makes sense. There's also things that, yeah, we can negotiate. On child care, housing, I hear that across the province. We don't want to leave housing dollars on the table. Why? Because municipalities have some very real struggles right now, and they need us to work with them to address them. Yes, we need to partner with like-minded provinces, not just Saskatchewan. I mean, BC, if we're talking about LNG, Ontario on different issues. And then, yes, we need to position Alberta for better leverage in this country. And sure, pension plan, tax credits. I mean, there are some costs, especially when we look at reforming the tax system. We need to make sure Albertans know what that's going to cost, what it's going to look like, what it's going to take, get them on board, and then move forward in those areas. We also need Senate reform, no question. Uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody would probably disagree with that in this room, um, but it's really how we do that. And, and the other thing that made me unique is what I've heard from Albertans when I ask why, because people are angry everywhere I go, and I think we've all agreed to that. Uh, why are you angry? Because I have heard this all before. We've been promised all these things, the over-promise, the under-deliver, and so I came out with a timeline. Um, our team came out with a timeline. We listened to Albertans, and so in 10 days, Here's what Albertans can expect from me. We will have a person and a team dedicated to making sure this falls off nobody's desks. And if I haven't done what I said I'm going to do in the first 10 days, you come find me. Same thing with 30 days, same thing with 100, so that you all in this room know exactly where we stand, exactly what's moving forward, when, by when, so that there's some accountability in this.